Hello everyone, welcome to part 129 of advanced e-com series in Laravel 8. So we are going to continue working on the orders module. And in last video, we have seen that we are able to create the order status table with the help of migration and we are able to add the few entries, few order statuses with the help of seeding. Uh, so now in this video, we are going to uh, get all the status here dynamically. We will add in for each loop all the statuses and after that we will make the form here as well. Uh, we will make the action and we will also pass the order ID as hidden uh, uh, hidden input type and uh, so that we can update the status. So every time if uh, the client will click on update, the order of the status will get updated. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, uh, we are going to uh, we are going to call the order statuses from the order statuses table. So for that, we will open the orders controller here in admin panel, and here in order details, we will also call the order statuses. So here, I will use order statuses like this statuses. Okay, so uh, we can uh, check the order statuses like this. We can use and we can uh, call all these statuses from the order status model this is our model order status and we can uh, get we will only call if the status is uh, one only then we are going to return so only the active status we are going to show in admin panel we will use the get as well as the to array to convert all the statuses to array so we will pass the array so this order statuses we are going to pass here and you can also debug it once like if we are not sure that we are getting it so before that we need to also need to add the order statuses model as well at the top order status otherwise it will show the error and we can check with the dd if order statuses are coming fine here or not so this is a kind of debugging you need to know otherwise uh, we uh, will get error then it will be tough for us and you can see here all these statuses are coming find new pending hold cancel all these statuses are coming here that we have added in the last video okay so we are getting all these statuses and the status is one and if in case you will make the status uh, as zero uh, for any of the status like if we want to make the whole status as zero you don't want to show the whole status then you can refresh here and here you can see that you will not get the whole status here okay you can see here that you will not get the whole status okay uh, so all other statuses are coming here so now we can simply move this one is not required now we are passing all the statuses uh, to the orders detail page that we have created earlier orders details of the admin panel are not the front one it's in the admin panel so here we will go uh, where we are showing the statuses here it is and here we are going to dynamically call all these statuses and will show up here so here we are going to make it dynamic at the rate of for each Here we will give the status uh, like uh, we will check once we have given the order so this one as dollar status. Okay, so order statuses as dollar status and this status uh, we can show up here. Also, we can give only select. Now we can check once. Refresh and it is showing some. Okay, so here we need to show the name. Now we can check here and see all the statuses are coming here okay so now uh, we will give its value as well ok 
okay so after this one uh, we are going to uh, make uh, the select name to find we are going to make the form here before select we can add the form and its action url in admin itself update order status method will be post get of csrf token so here input type is hidden name is order id value is order details id like this this one uh, we are going to send hidden variable okay so we are going to pass order id as the hidden uh, input type okay so we are required to send the order id with every status so that we can update the status of that order id that particular order id okay so here form uh, action is there this one this route we are going to create now and method we have given like post and add rate of csrf is uh, the token that we require to pass with every form in laravel and here the order status is the name and everything else seems to be fine okay so now we are going to create the order status after this one this route we are going to create now here route post update order status and here orders controller update order status so this function we are going to create now update order status for updating the order status of the order so this function we can create here public function update order status and here we are required to pass request to order request okay so we are going to uh, pick the status here uh, like uh, if dollar request is method post data we are going to get so uh, see here uh, so we will check once if the status and the order id is coming fine here so that we can update the order status two things we are, uh, we are required here order id and order status that the client wants to update so here you order details so okay so uh here is some error uh, this one dollar order details okay so now it is fine okay so now uh, you can uh, see here like if i update like pending and here this is the order id is the four and here also we are having the order id as four so four and pending we are going to send see so click on update and you can see the order id is four and order status is pending so we are getting the two things here one is the order id and another one is the order status so we are going to update the order status as pending for order uh, that is having the order id 4 okay so these two things we are going to update so we need to carry here two things these two thing things must come here 
uh, order ID as well as status. If one of the thing is not coming in one of the variable is not coming, value is not coming, then it means uh, you need to uh, see why it is not coming. Okay, so it's the part of the debugging. You need you need to know that how to uh, how to debug your code so that you can resolve it uh, from your end. Okay, so now. Uh, now we can uh, simply remove this one is not required we can uh, simply update the status now now we can also write the command if you want so that will help us update order status so we are going to update the order status in orders table where id dollar data id and we are going to update the order status uh, we will give like order status and here dollar data order status like this okay so after updating the order status we are going to uh, add the session here uh, for success message so we can show the success message here uh, we will show something like uh, uh, order status has been added has been updated successfully okay we can give it like this okay so this is the success message you can put the success message in one variable like dollar message or you can directly give it like this it's your wish uh, then after this one uh, we will return redirect back we will return the user back to the order detail page from where he is updating the status and here we are going to show this success message we can copy this success message from any other page uh, at the admin panel not at the front panel uh, here we can open this one uh, we are having this success message here we can copy this success message and we can paste it at some appropriate uh, place uh, where the message can come i think we can place it here okay so and we are going to uh, have success message and here we need to forget uh, that uh, success message as well so always forget once uh, we have displayed the message then uh, we are not required to display the message again so every time after displaying the message we can forget the success message or the error message session if we are using the error message that also we are going to forget okay so uh, now we are going to check now and i'm going to refresh here click on send and okay so see id is not here it's the order id so one mistake is there we are going to update it with order id like this so i'm going to refresh once again and now we are going to check and you can see but it is not coming correctly we uh, need to uh, make it correct uh, so we will add uh, one div here in the div here inside this uh, uh, inside this success message and we can make it 12 and here also we can close it like this okay so now it's updated and now we can check once again and we can refresh here and now we will update in process and update and you can see now order status has been updated successfully and but still it is not showing here because uh, we have not done that code uh, but if you will check here in orders table we can see the uh, status has been updated to in process this is the fourth id and we have updated its status to in process but now we want to show here as well if the status has been updated then we want to show it here as well so for that uh, we can uh, we can simply add the condition here like if the status is already 
uh, selected then uh, we can able to show it here as well and for that uh, we are going to uh, add that uh, condition here we can add add rate of if is set we can pick uh, we can pick this order status like we can pick this one we'll paste here and we can make it like order status is not empty means the status is coming for the order if there is some status for the order and and uh, if the orders that uh, the status coming from the orders table is matching with the status uh, that is coming up here this one uh, then we are going to select okay so for that we will add selected and the so now we can check and you can see the in purchase status is coming now we can update uh, we can able to see the uh, selector status okay so every time like if we will done like shift update now the status has been updated successfully and you can see here the shift status okay so you can close and you can come back and then you can check again it's the shift status here so we can able to update the status of any of the order now okay so uh, this one we have done but in future videos we will do one more thing uh, like uh, after updating this status we are going to maintain the order log here okay here we are going to show the logs like uh, the status has been updated like if the client updated the status of the order two three times then he must know in future that he update their status so many times uh, with the command also uh, okay uh, so one command box also is required maybe so that thing we are going to do in our upcoming videos but in from next video we are going to work on the order email and order sms that we will send to user user at the time of order placement okay so after that we will also do the order sms and email uh, every time if the uh, client updates the status to some status then we will uh, send the email to the user email and sms to the user that your order status has been updated like uh, we can like if the user uh, will ship the order the user ship and update then the message will go to the uh, user like your order has been shipped okay so like this also we are going to show uh, give one comment box uh, so that if any comment like uh, uh, any personal message uh, if the client wants to send to the user that also we can send to the user as well okay so uh, and also we can show the tracking number like invoice number or we can say the awb number tracking number also we can uh, give up here tracking number or we can give the comment box uh, so that uh, we can send that to the user as well so that all we will do in our upcoming videos so stay tuned for that so that's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.